Hello! Today we are going to see how to update the React tutorial. It's one of the major tutorials and like all the tutorials are going to be in the same format pretty soon. Then why this update is important? Because we are going to update to be using Meteor 2.0. And in Meteor 2.0 we can use Hot Module replacement for React, you can use the error overlay package and we can also use free deploy on Galaxy. Then you can create your, your Mitra Cloud account and you can deploy for free. And this is the update that we are going to start in this video. So let's do it. Uh, I think you are seeing my screen. I already opened an issue for this update. Usually it's better to open the issue and then we can discuss and then we can proceed with the update. Uh, okay, then I also already check out this project here. You can clone this project and you can also learn how to run it if you read the readme here then this tutorial like the page that you see here it's not a meteor app like you have meteor app inside the folders that's what we are explaining here like each folder inside the source folder here is a meteor app like you have uh, each step is a Meteor app here, okay? But the project itself is not a Meteor app. So if you want to run, and it's good to run, then you can visualize in your local machine, your chains, you need to install Node. Because as you know, in Meteor you don't need to install Node, but as this project is not a Meteor project, you need to install Node, okay? And if you see here, if I go to localhost 4000, it's the same, exactly the same, exactly the same, okay? Uh, I don't know why here is developers and here is React tutorial. We can check later if this is going to be wrong in, in production. But anyway, let's proceed here. Then first, what I need to do, I want to update all my apps to Meteor 2.0 so you can have Rot mod replacement and other features there. I just have one concern that I'm not sure because when I create I run Meteor Create now, it's using React by default. Then let's change this first. Like I don't need to use this anymore, dash dash React. And as, as this is a tutorial, I like to always find all the place that maybe this is, this is being used. This package is already included in the React skeleton. Okay, but you don't need this anymore because now React Skeleton is the default Skeleton on Meteor 2.0. And also here, you can also remove this. And that's the first change, removing the, the change in the Skeleton. Okay, now I can update my apps to be in the 2.0. Let's go to the step one first. Then as I said, like inside the source folder, each step is a Meteor app. And you have this simple to do here because the idea is to have multiple tutorials inside here, not just one. That's why you have this. Then, okay, Meteor update. Let's see what happens. This is the same process that you should do in your Meteor application if you want to update to Meteor 2.0. If you create a new app with Meteor 2.0, we are going to, to get already the <coughs> the hot module replacement module. Let me open, I, I open Meteor open source here, not the tutorial, like the main Meteor repository. So I want to take a look if the React skeleton is already including the error overlay as well. No, just the hot module replacement, then you can include the dev error overlay. This is important because the tutorial is going to start from this point, okay? Then let's return here. Okay, we are back and all the, all the dependencies are updated. Uh, okay, then let me just take a look in the packages that we have. Yeah, okay, it's updated, but then you need to add the rot mod replacement. As I want to have the same, like the same packages as the other as if the user create from scratch, then I'm just going to update like this, getting from the skeleton. And I also want to add the dev error overlay, but we need to document this as well. 
but let's do the change first. Then meter edge. I think it's heavy error overlay. I think this is the pack. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Now we have the VR overlay here as well. Then we need to add this to our readme. Otherwise, the users are not going to add this. Okay. Then create your React app. Create the test component. Create simple tasks. Render. Mobile look. Okay. Now your app should look like this. Okay, let's add a new topic here about hot module replacement. Dot seven hot module replacement. Meter by default when using React is already adding for you a package called hot module replacement. This package, we can even copy from the package description here. I can also get from Meteor Open Source repository here. Uh, let's see. Uh, hot module replacement. We have this in the history. History, yeah. Hot module, uh, React Commands are automatically for using. Yeah. Update JavaScript module. Yeah, I think this is enough. This package updates the JavaScript modules in a running app that are modified during rebuild. Reduce the feedback cycle while developing. We are also not going to lose the stage. Then your app code will be updated and your state will be the same. Okay, uh, what else? Oh, I'm also going to talk about the Devi error overlay. You should also add the package dev error overlay at this point so you can see the errors in your web browser. Then we also need to put the command here. Meteor add devi error over. I don't, I think I was doing maybe like this. Let me see. Shell. Yeah, just to keep it consistent. Yeah. Then we can save and I think it's still running here. Let's see. Go to create an app. Yeah, how to module replace me to body full. Yeah, you can even say like you can try to make some mistakes and then you are going to see the errors in the browser and not only in the console. Now your app should look like this. Yeah, maybe this could be here, right? Now your app should look like because we are not changing anything the app and then here we can talk about hot module replacement. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, then that's the first change. But now that's the part that I want you to understand if you want to make PRs. Because step one, then it will become the step two and the step three and the step four. And in this new format, we need to copy paste these chains like all the way to the last step, because otherwise it will be like a break in the flow. If the user wants to check this, for example, now we are not including 
this new patch here, or you are not updating meter there. Then we need to be sure that you have the same consistency across every step. And why this is better than the previous format? Because in the previous format, we keep the consistency doing rebases, but GitHub does not allow uh, pull requests and rebase to work in a nice way. It's very hard to work with pull requests and rebase in the same time. That's why we migrate, because here it's kind of a boring test because you need to copy paste, but it's just a copy paste. You can review the pull request and that's not a problem at all. Okay, it's easier to understand what's, what's changing. Then let's apply this. Then let's go to step two. Step two. And then we also need to run meter update. We could try to copy and like to copy and paste the change because if you're using like WebStorm, like I'm using here, it's pretty easy to compare. Let me show you like between now that you update like step two and step three. You can just click to files and you can just compare the two files and I could apply the change. But I think it would be better in this case to just go on, go like one by one applying this change because I'm not sure if I add a package in a specific step, otherwise I would need to review all the steps and all the packs, where I add packs, where I don't add packs. Then I think it's better to just do dev overlay, dev error overlay, right? Here as well. And I can also, the only one that I did manually was this one to be sure that I have the comment there. Yeah, that's it. Then I will do the same, but I don't need to do like this. I can just do it this and I can also do this. Dev error overlay. This should work. Maybe in the future you can have scripts to update all the steps in an easier way. Like you just apply the chains here and you can copy everywhere. But usually the chains are small. They're not like big chains. And when I created this tutorial, of course, I was starting the step two with the code from the step one. I will start the step three with the code step two. Then it was not more work. I just copy and paste the folder and start the new, the new topic. Okay, uh, we have this here as well. Then I just want to have this. And as I said, like this is a boring task, but I think it's good to have consistency across all the packages, all the steps, sorry. Then I'm going to do the same for step four. Maybe we could do like maybe I can just oh sorry that was the wrong one let's get this one we could optimize like this maybe step five and a red base here and then cd step six oops I think my face is covering it let me shrink a little bit step six and then you could do the same and then and Step seven. Again, we could write the script later. Let's see if this is working. You can read more about these packages in the history, like here or in the change log. I always go to history, but you can just go to change log. Yeah, it's the same, the same content, just a different way to visualize it. And then if you read here, you explain this section and also explain the dev error overlay. Then, oh, I think it's, there is a spell here. It should be overlay and not overly. I can change this later. Okay, it's just going folder to folder, updating it. We also need to copy this. Let me go to step four. Step four, packages, shell server. Then let's go to step five. Oh, not yet. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't know why this step is taking longer than the others. Yeah, now it's updated. Yeah, 
and maybe it was not a good idea to append all the commands because it looks it's taking longer than each one individually. But let's think about the next change that we want to do in this video. We also want to use the free deploy. Then if you look to here, uh, let's go here, and you can see that uh, we have it, the explanation step by step to how to create an account and how to try Galaxy for free and how to set up MongoDB that's not necessary anymore in the free account. Uh, and that's basically it, right? Yeah. Do we have code chains in this step? We can always compare to see if we have code chains. Let's see if we have code chains here. Oh, but it's trying to compare node modules as well. It should ignore node modules. Make your local, it's not important. It's comp I don't know why it's comparing node modules. Let's see if this way will work. I don't think so. I can also delete this. And then I, we can compare. I don't know why it's comparing all the modules. I don't think it was comparing last time I tried this. It's also compare me to your local. Wow. And then it's useless. Yeah, it's useless. But you have just a few folders. You can also compare nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. I don't think we have any chains, code chains. Yeah, we don't. Okay, then the step seven was the last one. Let's proceed with step eight. Step nine, step 10, step 11, and step 12, step 12. If you are thinking, hmm, I could update Meteor Tutorials, yes, that's the idea with this video. It's show you that everybody can update Meteor Tutorials. And you can even create new tutorials. Just open an issue, explain, oh, I want to have a tutorial to show how I do SSR. And I want to do step-by-step -step all the packs that I'm using, how I'm using, feel free. Open the issue, we can discuss there if you have some questions about how you should do it, and then you should do it. Just create a PR. We don't need to do rebases and any other crazy stuff anymore. Then just create a PR. And if you want to do the same for Vue, with Svelte, or Blaze, you can do it. I can create the repo for you and then you can migrate first the first tutorial and then later you can add more tutorials. Then if you want to do this, just reach me out on Slack in private or you can reach me out on Twitter or on forums. I'll put my links in the description of this video. And then you can move forward with all the tutorials for this new way that is easier to make pull requests. Okay, then we are looking for candidates and we are also going to work on these items in the core team if no candidates are available right now. But you need to have these tutorials up to date as soon as possible for newcomers to have the new features of Meteor available as well. Okay, we are in step nine and I was explaining that we don't need Mongo anymore. And now, so we do, this is where I did, right? We just remove it. We are doing this right now. Uh, okay, we did this first, now we are doing this. Oh, we also are doing this. Okay, then just the deploy is going to be missing. I think I can already take a screenshot. Let me open a new window because I want to show the sign up process because we have new pages now. Like this was the old page, but now we have new page. Let me go here. What was the first one? Yeah, I don't think I need to teach people how to click in the sign up button. But let's click here, then you can just take a screenshot of this page. I think my resolution is too large for the tutorial. Maybe we can do like this. Yeah, I think this looks good. Then I can just take a screenshot here. I use this MonoSnap software. 
Now let's get this. Yep. Sign up. I think there is a image here. Then I can just replace the image that's here. I think we have an assets folder somewhere. Search assets. Step 12, sign up. Yeah. Then I just put the same name. Oops. Oh, I don't know why it's trying to go with the full path, I believe. Yeah, let me copy just this. Okay, I can save in the downloads folder and I can change later. Downloads folder. Then I can replace this image here. Maybe the second step we don't need anymore because I think this step was for the credit card, but now we don't need to put your credit card anymore for the free accounts. Let me just double check it. Yeah, we don't need to choose this anymore. You just create your account and you're ready to go. Then it's even easier now. Let me open step 12. Yeah, that was a terrible idea to update all in a single shot because the problem here is that they are trying to update all the dependencies, all the index, like WebStorm is trying to index all the new files that are showing up. And then it's, it's getting slower. WebStorm is getting slower. Yeah, but it's the last one. Okay, step 12. But I don't want this, I want the readme, the plugin. Oh my god, WebStar is low. Well, let me read here while it's finishing. Then we we need to do this, but we don't need to do this anymore. Then you don't need to do this anymore as well. Then you don't need to do this anymore as well. We don't need to do this anymore as well. Yeah, it's going to be very easy to, to deploy any web. And that's cool. That's what we want with this new feature. Okay, then let's see if WebStorm can be in a better spot again, because we still need to, to copy the last part. That is this. Shell server, yeah, this one. Okay, let's copy this one. I think I was clear enough, but just to repeat myself to make sure you are, like you are getting why I'm doing like this, is because we want to be sure that new guys can follow the steps and it should work without any issue at all. Like this is really, really, really important when you are updating the tutorials. Like you need to update from scratch, like using all the steps that are affected because it would be very frustrating for new users to try to execute the tutorial and oh, the tutorial is not working, you know? Then I know it's a little bit boring, but we need to do this for the newcomers. Like we are new in the past, like we need to learn the tools and it's very frustrating when you get an error in the tutorials. Then if you get any error in any major tutorials, please let us know and then we can fix as soon as possible. Okay, the last piece, the last piece. Okay, uh, maybe we should run all the steps, then we have at least I don't know if I want to do this because we can have the versions updated as well, but I think it's going to take a long time. I can do this later if necessary, but let's return to step 12. Then in the step 12, I don't know why, but you see this, I'm also seeing this, this mark here. I think the last update from WebStorm is messing a little bit with the markdown. I don't know why, but I think if I open again, it's going to be okay. 
Okay, then let's go back here, go up. I'm not sure if I should just remove it, like how to set up MongoDB and everything. I think so, right? Maybe later you can, you can have a new tutorial using a different MongoDB setup. Okay, meteor.com. Like you don't need to, we don't have a sign up page in meteor.com anymore, but you can try to go to, go to cloud, cloud meteor.com then you are going to go to the sign up page anyway or if you click this link is sign up true I think that's the way that you can go straight to the sign up page let me see yeah otherwise you go to the sign in page that's not what you want go to cloud.meteor.com you are going to see a form like this that was the form that we updated fill the form and click in create account yeah create your account uh, fill the form yeah you can also sign up with github sign up with github proceed from there it is just going to ask you an username and password you will need those to deploy your app we ask the username and the password the confirmation because you need to have this to to deploy an app okay uh, done your account created you can use this account to access atmosphere forums and much more the next step you will be you sign up for yeah we don't we don't need to do this anymore you don't need to do this anymore uh, including deploy including use the galax free deploy Okay. And you don't have any setup anymore. It's very easy now. And much more including Galaxy Free Deploy. Uh, now your app is ready, so you can use it. The best place to start running your Meteor app is Galax. Galax offers free deploy. So you can use up to, yeah, it's just free deploy now, even better, right? If you have driver the steps, send email to blah, blah, try to explain what is the issue. Okay, you have, okay, let's fix it, set up MongoDB, don't need anymore. I'm going to remove it all the way. Then later, if you need, you can just add a new tutorial because we'll be always in the Git history here. We are not rebasing anything anymore and we are not losing content deploy it now you're ready to deploy make sure you run npm install before deploying all the pen stars you also need to choose a subdomain to publish your app you are going to use the main domain that's free and include on any galaxy plane in this example we are going to use react but make sure you select a different one otherwise you're going to receive an error of course Yeah, the, the custom domain is not included on in the free plane. Here. Custom custom domains. Custom domains are available from the essential. Starting in the essentials plane. Uh, round, round the, let me see if the URL for Galaxy was correct. I think it, now it's cloud. Yeah. Uh, custom domains, run the deploy command, blah, 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 blah. We don't need this anymore. We need free and we want to have Mongo. Make sure you have react tutorial by a custom name that you want as a subdomain. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. 
Sometimes I say beleza. Don't be offended just because in Portuguese it's like okay. And I don't know why sometimes I say beleza when I'm thinking. It's like okay, it's going well. You can learn new words in Portuguese. Okay, we are also going to get your. Yeah, you're also going to get your MongoDB URL here. Will be here as well. Okay. Uh, this process is taking our six man depends on the speed and blah, blah. Yeah, that's just the time for you upload your app. Galaxy is going to build a Docker image with your app and deploy it. If you have a huge app with a lot of dependencies, then the upload will take a little bit longer. The build step is also going to take a little bit longer. But if you're just running the tutorial, it's probably going to be less than five minutes. Yeah, I'm explaining this here. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't remember what I was what was there. Okay, then let's run. Let's fix this. Okay, now you should be able to access your app. That's correct. And of course, be able to access your app. Yeah, that's also correct. We deploy to Galaxy Runner. Okay, that's correct as well. Uh, we can change these links to be like the other links are also working, but now we are using these new links. Let's update it. Yep. Uh, review, you can check blah, blah, blah. In the next step, we are going to provide some ideas for you. Yeah, okay. Let me just recap what you have here because I did this tutorial uh, a few months ago. Uh, we can change all the Galaxy Guide dimensions here to cloud for sure. Just to be sure you have the latest. Uh, check your logs, free certificate. Yeah, we can add a custom domain, but it was already there, right? Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, okay, okay. I am. Am I missing something? I don't think so. We update all the apps. We are using this, and we are using for free. Okay, let me push this. Yeah, we have a lot of chains and that's expected. Oh, the versions are updated already. I'm just missing the, the error overlay probably. Let me compare. Yeah, the error overlay is not here. And I'm not sure why they are in different versions. I think it's because I he started one and not the others. Yeah, I think I didn't start. I think it's better to not be so late, right? We can start really fast all the steps here. I think I need to also run Meteor NPM install first because this they are clean. Okay, but I'm not going to do this and make you watch. But the idea is simple. I'm going to create a new PR. Then this PR is going to be uh, ready soon then you can even preview when you create a PR you can click in the link from Netlify that's where we host the tutorials and you can see the preview live there and that's basically it and then we are going to approve as soon as possible your PR or provide feedback and then when it's merged to master it's automatically also deployed to production reacttutorial.meter.com and that's it. I'm just going to start all the apps to make sure my versions are up to date because I changed some things in manually there. And then I'm going to comment exactly what we are seeing here. And then you can check this comment in this PR in a few minutes, uh, probably in the past, because we are watching this video later. See you in the next video. Sorry, sorry. One more information. Make sure you check the links in the descriptions because there I am linking other channels that are that where I'm talking about Meteor like all the time and teaching you a lot of things about web development, not just Meteor, but of course I'm using Meteor because I love Meteor. Then make sure you check it out all the links there, subscribe to the other channels because every week we have new contents like on Monday, on Wednesday and on Friday. And in my Portuguese channel, we have on Tuesday and Thursday, but I, if you are not able to understand Portuguese, that's not a problem. We have the content in English as well. 
The project name is called How to Create an App. And there I show a lot of things using Meteor. I'm developing an app without any edit. Like I'm just going and coding. And if I have an issue, I fix the issue and you can watch the issue. I'm not editing anything. And I never code in this project, not recording. Then you have all the way, all my progress using React, React Router and whatever I'm going to use in the future, Material UI, CSS Grid, CSS Flex. Then you should check it out. Like this is a very cool project and I'm very excited about it. Then you should follow the other channel here, how to create an app. See you. Bye.